Hello everybody, welcome back to this playthrough of Civilization 6 on the Nintendo Switch and as you can see it all looks much nicer and much more cinematic and you've got um, Alex Davis to thank for that in the comments because he asked me to turn the yield icons off and the hexagons and put the um, day and night cycle on um, and I thought I don't usually play with the yield icons off because I like to see kind of what everything's bringing to the sieve but at this stage we're not so bothered about kind of how much we're maximizing production and stuff because we're well on the way to success um, so if we do start another game and which we will start another game of Civ one day on the channel at some point um, then we'll, we'll probably have the yield icons back on but for now we're going we're going to make it look lots nicer so thanks for that suggestion as long as other people like it as well um, and I will be keeping it like that until the end of the series and um, back to the more kind of gameplay style stuff um, and by the way I'm reading these off my phone because this is how professional I am now I could have wrote them down but frankly I could not be bothered um, so Jody suggested that we put the new deal policy in um, because that grants both housing and amenities now I am going to put that in but Jody, probably having watched the series all the way through, knows that you've missed the crucial bit out of there for me. The minus eight gold for every city with above three um, districts in. But obviously, it's still worth it for the housing and amenities. But probably just leaving that out there, because know what, what a tight bugger I am when it comes to money. Like, we have a stupid amount of money, and I should have spent more by now. And hopefully, we are going to keep spending more. We're going to make sure we are spending more to bring in uh, and upgrade our units. So yeah, thank you for that, Jody. I appreciate it as always. Um, and then Jeremy, once again, with um, a really good suggestion, as they always are. Pretty much saying that we, we probably should make peace with China and take them for all the money and all the resources, but there's no need to drag this war on and take every single city, because frankly, how many cities do you want to manage, basically? Um, yeah, <laughs> Pretty much hit the nail on the head when 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 Jeremy said um, it becomes exhausting uh, managing too many cities. And then um, also Danny waved, which was nice. I don't know that was that was interesting. Just just wave back in the comment section. But I just wanted to run through all of them um, because I do appreciate all your comments, literally anything. And that wave, you know, it's what a nice way to start the day by some random person you've never met waving to you on YouTube. You know, that, that's that's what it's all about. Um, oh, good. We're going to start the episode and the gameplay with some good news, though. Because a spy from the Persian Empire was killed trying to siphon funds. Well, I've just said how much I love money, so I actually love the fact that spy is dead trying to steal off us. Um, we're not going to worry about the housing and amenities because the first thing we're going to do, really, is we're going to go ahead and put the New Deal policy in. So that gives us plus four housing, which is obviously very useful, and plus two amenities, which which is nice. However, as I said, the drawback is minus eight gold to all cities with at least two, uh, with at least three specialty districts. That is very sad. But when you think about the New Deal policy, I'm guessing it's based on um, on... Was it Roosevelt's New Deal, where he went around America building lots of dams and massive projects um, to, to absolutely kind of boost the economy? Something which actually, if you look through history, wasn't actually properly sorted until the start of the Second World War, which did wonders for the American economy. Um, but, th but that's not important in this game. And um, we've got a few more to fill, so we've got one more economic policy to put in. I'm trying to think we could put something in that helps our gold because we are going to lose 8 gold in a lot of cities. So our gold is going to take a big hit. Not so bothered about cities growing. When they grow at this stage, it just causes me problems and I can't be bothered with that. Um, that's not that good. 50 gold at this stage for every neighborhood we build on nice farmland. Hmm. We have quite a few cities not on our original capital's continent. Like, I don't want to spend the whole episode going through these, so I'm probably just going to pick one quite quickly. Plus one, culture and science from trade routes. Not that bothered about either of those things anymore. Not really building too many wonders. Ah, economic union. So, 100% commercial hub and harbour district adjacency bonus. I don't know how much more money that's going to give us. You know, we have quite a few, you know, let's just put it in and see what happens. If you want me to change that, which I'm sure you will, um, just let me know in the comments and then next time around we'll change it. I just don't want to spend ages doing this. Right, economic, um, so, oh, the arsenal of democracy, another one of Roosevelt's. 
Your trade routes to an ally city provide plus two food and two production. Oh, we could put that in. Plus one gold from each envoy. Mmm, that's nice. Um, first envoy you send. No, that's outdated. Police state. Enemy spies level reduced by two. I don't want to risk losing amenities. Not worth it. Plus 50% production towards spies. That's nice. Or plus two science, culture, faith and gold from city states we are caesarean of. Don't think we're really caesarean of any. Um, Let's just go in for the merchant confederation. Yeah. Just for the gold. Just to recoup the gold. I almost put the arsenal of democracy in. But I don't want the food. I literally do not want the places growing anymore because they just cause me problems. Right, obviously if there's any you want me to change, leave it down in the comments. I almost put the spy one in as well because, you know, building spies is fun. And it will help us do that. Oh my god, we're making a ton of gold. We are still, we are making an awful lot of gold there. Mmm, right, Antium needs more amenities. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so lots of these places seem to be rather unhappy, but hopefully we can, um, my god. This is out of hand. <laughs> I'm really hoping this new deal is going to help. Like, we have lots of housing problems, but they are nothing on the amenity problems. Now, you don't provide enough food, which is bad. Alright, we'll have to see how this goes. Hopefully they will sort themselves out. Oh, I know what will cheer everybody up. Nuclear weapons. Oh, go on then. It's only three turns. We might as well. Be rude not to. Um, Yeah, we also at the end of the last episode realised that this was an island. Oh, and I've also put quick movement of units on, by the way. Because I felt like we were spending quite a lot of time, you know... Moving units. Ooh, we should be fine there. We should be fine off the coast of Athens. But I figured we were spending an awful lot of time. Oh, yeah, we're going to go professional sports, by the way, for the next government. Because that is going to give us access to more immunity stuff. But I felt we were spending too much time sort of trying, to just moving units about and stuff like that. So it was get rid of that or get rid of... Um, the 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 fighting stuff, the fighting an animation things. But I quite like the fighting animation, so we've left them. Right. So I am going to take Jeremy's advice of making peace with China, but I figured why not just take the city state first, um, and then you know maybe we'll take Beijing, um, something like that. But I don't really want all of these cities. They're just going to be a pain in the backside, and we already have enough housing and amenity problems. I'd like to take the city-state, though, just for the uranium. Because um, then we can definitely build, upgrade our tanks and stuff like that. So, I want at least one source of uranium. Ooh, a military engineer completed. There we go. We can finally put that into action. Oh, should we go for the other spy? In fact, no, you can't. We've, we've been through it. You can't build a bath here, can you? Um, Yeah, get that spy. I want to get this military engineer working. I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how the day and night cycle seems to be working okay on this now. Um, I, I didn't know how well it would work with the... Yeah, you can go over here and build an airfield. I didn't know how well it would work with it being on Switch. Like on the PC version, because my PC is pretty decent, it works well. But you just never know, do you? It's going to be a while getting over there, but go and get yourselves off. Um, I didn't know how it'd work, but I think the Switch overall handles the game reasonably well. Okay, so we've got all the traders we can, which is very sad. Um, can you build a bath? Can you build a bath? Bath, 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 bath. You can't build a bath. Disaster. Um, I'm just trying to think. I, you know what? We don't have an encampment in there, so it seems a bit of a shame to start building military units there. But at this stage, surely, you know, it's... For me, anyway. That's crap. You should still be able to build the old tank. You know, just because we can't build the modern armour? You should still be able to build the old tank, just because we've not got uranium. What can we do? We need two uranium. Unless we've got an encampment. Oh, right. Um... Go on, get some more artillery then. It seems a shame to build military units in cities which don't have um, encampments because obviously you get more experience, but I'm not that fussed at this stage. I think if we can just get the numbers up, we'll be fine. Um, 
probably should upgrade you. Start the upgrading spree, really. Everything we come across that we can upgrade, we probably should just should. We've got loads of money anyway. And money's there to be spent. Wow. Oh, that's pretty decent. I mean, I'm not so keen on the food because I'm not that keen on the city growing, but the three production's nice. And we'd also get 12... Where are you going with those settlers? Go away. And um, also, we'd also get 12 gold. And I'd class that as sort of a safe trade route. Unless we can send it to, like, Amsterdam. We can send it to Amsterdam. Uh, we can send it to Amsterdam, which is, like, 23 gold a turn. Alex, stop. Okay, I've done it now. Our gold is just mad. We, need, we do need to spend it, though. And I've got to spend it. We need to, we'd need to spend it. Um, so what we'll do is I think we'll bring this artillery down here and form an artillery army. Um, and then that is going to be super powerful and should be absolutely incredible for taking that city state. Yeah, you just run away slightly. Yeah, just hit, just, oh, we can promote, right? Oh, we can. Plus one rain. Mm -mm, I think so. That is lovely. I'm, I presume, I think we get that with the army as well, right? Wow, suicide. Um, we will not be charging the walls because that is a bad idea. Oh, I think the, you know, the plus 10 combat strength versus fortified defenders is nice. But to be able to just take more, def um, kind of withstand better attacks would also be really good. Because then we could just sort of shove them in. Ultimately, we're going to be crap against um, city walls anyway. So we're going to have to be able to withstand attacks while we're sieging. Get yourself down here. And you see what I'll do as well between this part and the next part, because I really do want to capture that city state today, is put into place a few plans. Oh, yep. Let's upgrade you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your service, though, Cannon. Um, I would rather have a machine gun and I feel like I, I need to spend some money uh, otherwise it gets a bit ridiculous okay so there's literally no point you guarding that mountain pass because they can't get on here uh, so that's fine yeah just just move forward a bit but obviously because Greece is an island you know we can we can sort of put together an expeditionary force on here and probably combined with a few of the troops which are ch taking China. Now, the only problem with that is that strategically, you know, Athens is actually quite a way away, isn't it? So maybe we could use the force attacking China to wage war on Persia. We only really need to capture two cities because if we capture that one there, which I will not even try and pronounce, we could get onto the capital. So that might not be so bad. You know, we could sort of pincer the world. We could attack over here with the uh, the force that we're talking about from China. And maybe start a new force over here um, to attack Athens. Because right now, I don't think we're strong enough. They're pretty advanced. And we have one tank over here, which is disappointing. So maybe, you know, once we've got these baths up, or perhaps before... We should really consider strengthening over here. So when we get things finished over here on the mainland, you know, if we could just create a few more pieces of artillery, a few more tanks, before we know it, that's a really good force over here on this island. So, yeah. I'm, in fact, I'm glad we've decided that now. By we, I mean I, because, you know, now we can start working towards it. Um, I want to make sure when we, we take Athens, we hold it. You know, and then we're just, we're getting close then. We're, we're getting close. If we can pull these next two invasions off, we're really close. We don't the Congo to go, aren't we? So, it's getting exciting. Right, um, yes, plus two production will be nice there. Thank you. Um, fighter. I feel like I just want to throw you against the walls for no reason. Um, you know, we'll, we'll have you around here, let's say. We should be perfectly fine. Um, but you never know. And you can skip the turn. In fact, I should have told you to sleep. You know as well, when we're attacking sort of Greece and Persia and places like that, getting a few bombers in there will not be a bad thing either. 
right now I'm not so bothered if we have to build a... Because we've got the military engineer coming over here, but if we have to build over whatever we build, it's not the end of the world, is it? Um, let's upgrade you. I'm pretty sure we have the policy for upgrading things in. Um, yes, 50% discount on all unit upgrades. Perfect. Yes, uh, we could form you into a corpse. Go on then. You know, I think s s slimming down our army was probably one of the best things that's been suggested in a long time. Um, because it just does help massively, doesn't it? And we don't really need to have a giant army. I'm bringing down the walls of this city, but like, I think, do we really want to take it? Because it's just going to be a pain in the backside. It's just another city to get annoyed as. Okay. Right, so we have the artillery army there. Really, we just want to batter them into submission and then give, let them give us all their money, things like that. Um, a couple of cities would be nice. Well, I want the capital now. I want what they've made their capital. Um, and I'm not really bothered about anything else. Yeah, can you... Can you come over here? Right, we'll see how that goes. I'll hopefully, yeah, with bringing the infantry up, hopefully they'll sort of be distracted by that. We have an infantry army there, so we're in absolutely no... We're not going to lose that city, are we? And we've even got helicopters in the city, so it's going to be fine. Okay, you just stay there for now. We just need the artillery to bring the walls down, and then I think we can take it. Um, but I think once we take the city state and that city, I have no interest in continuing. Ooh, the frame rate dropped. Ooh, it's to be expected at this stage. There's a lot going on. Okay, that's not so much of a. Jesus Christ. Oh, put the bloody crossbows away. It's embarrassing. Oh, now we have the horses. Have they learnt nothing? They've done, they have done a bit of damage, actually, to the single infantry, but... God, they could kill it. Could we die? Nope. It's the battleship. Look how much damage the machine gun did to the single battleship. It was horrendous. This city state is, is gonna is gonna lose. I think everybody knows it. How far are we in? Because I feel like I've done a lot of planning. Yeah, we're... we're, we're we are 15 minutes in, I think, roughly. Um, it's because I've done, like, a lot of planning. Ah, we can't steal it. Obviously. Um, this needs to run away. Oh, it's just annoying. Why do we have to go around Samaria? Go away, Samaria. Right, we need to try and escape with that battleship before we die. Uh, we have two pieces of artillery, so, yeah, we need a bit more. Um, because they're not even corpse, they're just single pieces. You stay there. Um, you, st you stay there. You... Uh, artillery corpse can stay there for now. Right, we should have some really good range on this now. Yes. This is a very powerful army. We can get that all in range of the city-state. It's coming down. Good. Okay, so Rome has completed. I don't even know it. We've completed here. I thought it. I'm sure it tells you. Okay, who cares? Um, how are we for housing? Wow, we're exceptional for housing. I'm thinking. Get a bit of artillery on the go. Yeah, then we can send it over, can't we? Lugdunum, you got a bath. Your housing's fine. I'm thinking if we build artillery there, though, it's just pointless. It's so far away from anything. Oh, I'm thinking, do we need to boost the economy? And then I'm like, no, not really. A few medics would be nice, wouldn't they? Yeah, go and get a medic. Right, okay. So we're literally just waiting now for the artillery to be in range. Bombard the hell out of the city and then we'll be fine. 
And then we'll storm him with the tank army. And it's, it's going to be glorious. I'm also planning a party for Genghis Khan's retirement. We'll see how that goes, though. So we can range attack. Um, you know, if we could, we could take the encampment. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Because then we could just sit in the encampment with our artillery and bombard the city, I think. Yeah, so we might as well do that. Um, we will withdraw the infantry because, you know, we're bordering on death. Which is not ideal. Helicopter corpse. Just thinking, is it worth going to clean a few of these up? Right, we will bring the machine gun out. Um, which will make short work of much of these. This is why I leave the animations on. I just think the, the fighting animations are really nice. Well, if you're us, they're really nice. Perhaps if you're um, China, they're less nice. Wow, this is coming down. One battleship is causing one city an absolute nightmare. Um, go and build something over there. We're literally just in it for the capitals now. Oh, good. gdansk has got a neighbourhood. How nice. Oh, I feel like six turns and armoury is not that bad. You get an armoury. You can heal. Ooh, we've got a zoo. How exciting. Wow. How... Wow. Incredible. I'm thinking get a hangar. But we've got more space, haven't we, anyway? Oh. oh, no, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't build a synagogue. We, we are not going for the religious victory. Build a bomber. I want more bombers. Right, we've got a sewer there, so everything's fine. I'm just looking at those pieces of stone there and thinking a builder would be okay. So, you know, 10 turns as well for a new newish city is not bad. No, no, you bellends. Oops. Apologies there for the um, foul language. Wow, Greece is already crawling for a peace deal. If only he could give us Athens in that peace deal, and then we might be on. You know what, I'm going to ignore Arabia because... Where is this happening? Where's the fighting? Oh, is this it? There is, there is fighting taking place. Okay, so he's offering us a ton of money now, but we will get that soon anyway. I just want to bring the city-state down at least, and then we've got a source of uranium. Wow. Are you... F oh, no. You fired on the infantry, which makes sense. I thought you'd fired on the plane, and I was like, why? We'll just withdraw it. Um. Yeah, you might as well repeat the route. The three production here is nice. Okay, so we know we've got extra range here, so if we we should be in range. I think maybe next turn we'll be in range. You can literally... I feel like you might as well stay there, like, and just distract them. We'll promote the battleship so it can get a bit more health more than anything. Okay, yeah, just get good against district defense, so that'd be nice. Okay, Bandar Brunei has made peace with Pericles. Okay, so obviously we were in charge of Bandar Brunei. Now we're not. Are we at war with it now? Okay, well, I'm not really bothered about Saladin. It's like annoying, but I'm just not convinced Saladin's going to cause us that much trouble. Uh, Bandar Brunei has not got a cesarean, but I'm going to presume it's China. 
That's causing us problems there. Um, oh, good. You've completed a bath. Um, an arena for three turns. I cannot turn that down right now. And we have took fire with the artillery. So part of the damage we took was from over here. Go there. Go hide in the district. Yeah, what about when defending? That would be good. Because an artillery piece obviously has to do a lot of defending. Because it just gets range attacked all the time. Right, you can range attack the knight to kill it. I'm not in a massive rush to complete, finish these off. Um, I think it will happen reasonably quickly, so there's no worries from me. They don't have anything I want in that city. If they had uranium, I mean, yeah, but I feel like I'm just going to bring the walls down for no reason now. You know what? Again, let's go for the defensive one. I'm half tempted to just go and kill them. I feel like if we did it, it'd be good. No. No, we're gonna... We're gonna no, you're gonna need to take the... It, it's all gone wrong. Go go back. Just, just go back and attach yourself to that. How can you excess... I don't know what happened there. Let's ignore that. Okay, so Stockholm's got a bath, which is good. Um, have you got any walls just in case Saladin gets brave? They're probably not going to be necessary though, are they? I feel like even if he does get brave, it'll just be funny. Um, yeah, you know, we don't have any anti-air stuff, so let's build one of them. Okay, I'm guessing you're still into repair things. Yes, you do. Um, yeah, okay, so it's saying we're ready for the next turn. Um, I'm gonna end the episode there though, because I don't think we're far off. Oh, look, they've still got their settler. I don't think we're far off half an hour. Um, next time, what we will do is we'll take the city state and we'll try and take that city there as well. I just want all the uranium. I'm hoping that belongs to them. Okay, so one, two, three. It could do. I feel like it's more likely to belong to them than Beijing. Because that's a 15 population city. But if we take that city and we don't have the second source of uranium, then we'll probably just get Beijing in the trade deal, in the peace deal. Um, I just want to make sure we've got some uranium. Um, so yeah, once we've done that, we'll also then continue to build up our force on this island, which we started thinking about in this episode, to come over here, take Athens. Then we'll probably move the force over from China and simultaneously, hopefully, take the capital of Persia and take the capital of the Congo, which is... don't know. Where is that? Where are you? Which is around here, but we'll obviously have to find it. Um, and then we'll have won the game. So we're only three capitals d left to go. Um, I do appreciate you watching this and liking it. Still getting quite a lot of likes for us. So thank you very much for everybody who is continuing to support the series. Also, I don't like to plug my own content, but um, I, I put a lot of effort into a Mario Kart video the other day. So that's on the channel. I do um, urge you to go and have a look if that's something you'd, you'd find entertaining. I really enjoy making it um, and I try to make it as entertaining and funny as possible. So if you do have an, a spare 10 minutes, please do go and check that out. But thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more civilization. And yeah, I'll see you in another video soon.